Hello Mouthpiece fans, this is my first, maybe my only, mouthpiece offering. It is the Mojo Vortex mouthpiece for tenor sax. It has some unique features. You know, it seems like everything under the sun has been done for mouthpieces. Uh, but for one thing, it has a two-color bite plate with uh, you know, a swirl pattern in there. I make them by hand, so they take quite a bit of time. No machine, just glue it in. You know, I cast, cast those right in place and work the design in by hand. The main difference that this mouthpiece has over some other is a spiral fluted chamber. I'll show you on this uh, unfinished blank. This, these are the blanks the way I get them. They're made of brass, but if you can look inside there. It's not that easy to see unless you see it in person, but I'll try to, you know, move them around. It has spiral flutes cut into the chamber area. Now your first impression of that might be, ooh, that spins the air. Well, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't spin the air uh, significantly to where it does anything with the sound. Um, you know, the, the air, once it gets past the first half inch of the mouthpiece or, slow, or so, is so slow, it's, a, it's like your breath exhausting. It's not like a, a bullet, you know. And uh, by the time it gets to here, it's just a draft going downstream. But what does happen in a mouthpiece is that um, with the little puffs of air you generate at the tip, it generates a... Uh, it sets up a standing wave between the tip of the mouthpiece and your first open tone hole. So um, it bounces back from there and comes back here. And it's hard to visualize because you're you think of blowing sound through your sax, but actually you're just at the tip setting up this ringing wave in there. Well, that wave when it bounces back does indeed bounce off these spiral flutes. Um, and what does it do to the sound? Well, a little different character to the sound, and I, I can't describe it to you uh, any better than that. Um, the other thing that's going on is that uh, I've stated, if you've seen my Facebook posts um, or sax on the web, that most of the sound uh, character of, of a mouthpiece comes from, I believe, the baffle, like 80% of it. Then maybe 20% comes from the chamber, and most of that has to do with chamber size, whether it's small or large, not so much whether it's square or round or fluted. But that does give a little bit of contribution to a particular character that a mouthpiece has. So this mouthpiece has a fairly high baffle. It's loud and bright. And uh, beyond that, you're really just going to have to try it yourself. People get all sorts of sounds out of you know, Dukovs, Gardalas, Lynx, and whatever, and I expect people will get, uh, players are going to get a whole lot of different sounds out of this mouthpiece. I get these blanks made in Italy from a, a, a former client of mine whose name is Carlos Atti, and, uh, you know, he got me a good deal. He, he works in a machine shop with his father, and he's also a good player, and he basically came up with the basic uh, design of this, but it comes very rough without a facing uh, on it uh, that's hand finished and uh, the chamber's a little rough so I, I reworked the chamber um, put a nice facing and take care of the body uh, surface finishing and, and, and the bite plate and uh, these are gold plated I send them out for gold plated there's nickel plating under the gold that's a very hard protective layer, so over time if the uh, gold wears off, uh, the nickel will stay there just like uh, vintage Florida links have. Uh, but it doesn't sound like a link, so it's just a durability issue. So uh, yeah, these are real nice. Uh, I've got mostly 105 tip openings right now. I'm going to be working on some larger ones. Uh, if you're interested, take a look at my website. And uh, you know it'll show the current prices there, uh, and they're very reasonable. These compare very well to $600 and higher mouthpieces, very high quality. So if you like a loud, bright sound, 
um, you know, are, are designed. You know, you can play these in a way that makes them sound dark by, uh, you know, uh, put, moving your embouchure further towards the tip and using a lot of lip on them. But, it, you know, got, that's how guys get all different sounds and tone colors from them. So, uh, trials are available. See my website at uh, mojomouthpiecework.com.